Hello, another coding challenge here. Um, this one is number 38 from the OCR exam board computer science coding challenges booklet. Uh, it's called Sing Along and it says create a program that prints the lyrics to the song 10 green bottles in as few lines of code as possible. So uh, first of all, a little bit about what this is asking me to do. So there is a children's repetitive song popular in the United Kingdom that is in essence a single verse repeated with one bottle falling off a wall each time. So it goes 10 green bottles hanging on the wall, 10 green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'll be nine green bottles hanging on the wall. And so each bottle falls off one at a time until eventually there'll be no green bottles hanging on the wall. So uh, what we're doing is we're making a computer program that can output all the lyrics to this nursery rhyme. Uh, and what I've got here, I've got Fonny, uh, I'm using Python, and I've already copied and pasted that first verse, uh, the 10 green bottles one, and uh, put print commands around each line of the lyrics. So this will print, if I uh, save and run, the first verse on the screen. Okay, um, well, this is all great, but uh, clearly it needs to go 10 times round. So one solution clearly is to uh, just copy and paste this 10 times, well, nine more times, and then have 40 lines of code. But the idea behind the challenge is, can we do it with less than 40 lines of code? So what I'm going to do in this challenge, uh, or this example here, is create a loop. I think there might be other ways to do it as well. Maybe you could do something like a recursive function, a bit more advanced, but I'm just gonna go for a simple loop. So I know I'm gonna need some space above this code. Uh, so all I did was I went to the beginning of this code and pressed the return key to push it down a bit. So uh, when it comes to looping in a computer program, you've got a couple of options really. You've got uh, count controlled loops that will repeat a certain number of times. And that would work here. Uh, we could just make this repeat 10 times until all the bottles have gone away. An alternative, which I think I'm gonna use now, is a condition controlled loop, usually using the keyword while. Uh, which checks to see if something's true. And what I'm gonna to check to see is have all the bottles fallen off the wall. So first of all, I'm gonna create a variable that's gonna store uh, a number. It can store the number 10. So uh, Python will work out that the data type, the most appropriate data type for that variable will be an integer, a whole number. Um, and then all of this code underneath is gonna be inside a loop. So I'm gonna use the keyword while to create a condition controlled loop. And I'm gonna say while, bottles is more than zero. So what that's saying is while the number stored in the bottles variable is more than zero, while there are still some bottles hanging on the wall, then I'm gonna ask it to do all this stuff. Now, uh, the way Python works is that in order for this, uh, for the computer to understand that this is what I want to loop, I have to indent it. So I'm gonna to go to the edit menu and choose indent selected lines. Um, I could just press the tab key on the keyboard, which is a shorter way of doing it. But what that means is that it will look for any lines of code indented by these four spaces here uh, and repeat those over and over again until bottles uh, is not any longer <laughs> more than zero. So once we've run out of bottles. Okay, I'm gonna save that. And I think I'm just gonna hit run and see if it does something. Oh, it says bottles is not defined because I spelled bottles wrong. So first of all, we'll uh, fix that problem. Stop and run. Okay, so it's doing something, it's repeating code and it's repeating the lyrics. However, it seems to be going forever. And also we'll notice it's always 10 green bottles. Okay, so we've got a few things we need to fix here. Uh, first things first then, um, let's add a line of code and I'll use the tab key to add it to the loop that says the bottles variable should go down by one, right? Because a, a, a bottle has fallen off the wall. Um, and actually, if I think about it, that really needs to happen when it falls off the wall. So I'm gonna say that bottles is now equal to, I'm assigning it a new value, whatever it was before, but with one taken away. Quite, um, the first time you see this in computer programming, I think it feels a little confusing. Um, but what you're saying is that I want to give bottles, this variable, a new value, and I would like it to be whatever it kind of currently is with one taken away. So it kind of does this bit first. It says, take the current value of bottles and take one away from it and then put the result of that into there. And actually, if you use the Thony debugger, you can watch it do it, which is really cool. So let's clear this out. Um, and uh, I don't think it's gonna say the right thing, but it should at least stop. <laughs> okay, there we go. So uh, I'm not gonna count all those lines of lyrics, but it does look like it 
did it. Um, another thing that might be nice is to just print nothing um, at the end of this so that you can see where each verse starts and stops. Okay, so there we go. We've got some verses now, and we haven't done 40 lines of code by just copying and pasting the first verse nine more times. Um, now the problem we've got is that it's always 10 green bottles, and we need that number to go down. So what I'm going to do is swap out the word 10 for the bottles variable. But there's a couple of things I need to do here. I'm going to use the plus symbol to concatenate two things together. I'm going to join together inside the print command the bottles variable, which you'll notice doesn't need to be in green speech marks. It's not a literal string. It's not writing that I want to come up on the screen. I want to see the word bottles there. And then I'm using the plus symbol to join it with the rest of the line, okay, the green bottles hanging on the wall. Um, now, I know this is going to cause an error, but let's clear and press run and see what happens. Okay, there's the error. Um, and what I can do is I can click on this blue hyperlink, which tells me which line has the error. I knew that was going to be the problem. And it says unsupported operand type for plus, uh, for the add symbol, int and string. Okay, so what's happening here is that this is a string. This green writing in speech marks is a string. And I already know that bottles, the variable, uh, is an integer because it contains a whole number. It doesn't contain any writing. So I'm just going to do uh, some casting where you change the data type of a variable. I'm going to cast the bottles variable to a string by wrapping it within the string casting command. So str will convert something to a string. And then uh, you can see I put bottles inside a set of brackets. So we've kind of got two sets of brackets now. We've got the brackets for the print command and some brackets for the string command. And then I'm using the plus symbol to join the string version of this bottles variable to uh, the rest of the song lyrics for that line. So let's save, uh, stop, clear, press run. Okay, so now we've got 10 green bottles, nine green bottles, eight green bottles, seven green bottles, six green bottles, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is good. So I can do the same thing basically. If I copy that, uh, I mean, I could do the whole line here, couldn't I really? There we go, that's that. Uh, and now there won't be nine, there's going to be, Right, stick with me here. <laughs> so what I've done here is I've said there'll be stra bottles join two green bottles hanging on the wall. So this time the variable needs to be in the middle of my sentence. So I've got a bit of a string, then the plus symbol to join to a string version of a variable, and then the plus symbol to join to the rest of the string or sentence. Okay, I think we're kind of there. So let's press clear and press run. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, so 10 green bottles hanging on the wall, 10 green bottles hanging on the wall. If one the rough track before, there'll be nine green bottles hanging on the wall. Yeah, and if we go all the way to the bottom, let's just see what happens at the end. One green bottle's hanging on the wall. Oh, well, there's a problem. Uh, and if one green bottle track before, there'll be zero green bottles hanging on the wall. Okay, so grammatically, it's not perfect, and there are loads of cool ways you could do this. I think what I can do as a tidy up job, it would add more lines of code, but I could say while bottles is more than one to do the first nine, and then on the first line of code outside the loop, so back on the left hand side, not indented, I could like hand code the nice kind of one green bottle hanging on the wall, and then there'll be no green bottles rather than there'll be zero green bottles hanging on the wall. So th that's one way I could solve that problem. You might like to try that. Um, Another cool thing I could do, remember the challenge was how few lines of code can I do this in? Well, I've done it in, I guess if I take out my spaces, so we take out the spaces and try and get really clever with it. I've done that in eight. Um, I could probably save one here. Do you want to Do you want to try it? Let's try it live. What I'm going to do is, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to hashtag that. So now the computer will ignore it. And I'm just going to put star two, which means times two. No idea if that will work. Let's just see, uh, clear this out. Press run. Let's have a look. 
Ah, uh, no, it only repeated the green bottles hanging on the wall bit. So it says 10 green bottles hanging on the wall, green bottles hanging on the wall. So you can use times two to kind of repeat stuff in uh, the print command, but yeah, that's not working there. Um, maybe something you could look into. And of course, there's this cool thing in the original challenge that says there's an extension, develop this program so you can enter any starting number and it will count down from there. So why not give that a try?